Jada Pinkett Smith says wait, that. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Yo. Yeah, so we don't want to get the man. So we get to be angry. Jada Pinkett Smith. Please, please. There's, there's context <laughs> yeah. to what she says. I get it. Jada Pinkett Smith. Hello, engineer your life family. A quick one. More than 87% of you are not subscribed. That means you continue to enjoy the episodes, you continue to grow, you continue to heal from the episodes, but you are not subscribed, which means that the episodes don't reach a broader audience. So to help us to reach a broader audience so that we can bring you bigger guests, we can bring you more experts in their field, I'm going to plead with you to please click that subscribe button on your screen now so that you continue enjoying the wonderful, insightful conversations that we bring you every single week. I hope you enjoy this episode. So there are aspects of my life um, that I will never reveal um, that are between myself, my Is, family, and we became um, and my who God. we are because of that past and that history. Mm. We became strong women mm. because we know who we are. Our fundis and all of that. I mean, I heard the, the audible voice of God. It wasn't the decision. On the <laughs> it was a decision. That one, yeah. <laughs> like Christ Himself. What was that about? Yes. I don't even so know. So you can't know. just trust um, the person who was able to initiate a relationship with your husband knowingly and trust them with your life with your kid a fancy restaurant um in a beautiful place in south africa and he left you with love them seven love them Ooh, babe he's not circumcised <laughs> <laughs> i meant our sex, our sex. I, mean, I already do it yes will it marry what you say you're doing which is good morning zam Hi, 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 hi. Stop it, name contest, name contest, or see bank. No, there's a reason, time and place. Ne? Yes. Absolutely. Young kid in his katsa, everything has its time. I agree with that because it means there's something divine about today and this particular moment. Yeah. Because it's been a good few months we've been trying. The thing is, I didn't know you were trying because yeah. you were stuck in what is it? You go on Instagram. Requests. Requests. Yeah, so I'm yeah. just like, okay, when I bumped into you, like, you, I've been trying. I'm like, no, you haven't. And I want to come. What yes. do you mean? <laughs> and then we met and then we started chatting. Yeah. And uh, of course it was difficult, but you know what? All things work together for good for those who trust in the Lord. Child. And everybody say, amen. Amen, honey. <laughs> <And here we> <laughs> Um, welcome to Engineer Your Life, finally. Um, thank you for saying that you've always wanted to come yeah. because it means you respect the platform and what um, myself and my lovely team have tried to build. Um, it hasn't been easy. Jeez, we are one and a half year in. Is it half years? Okay, low congee. Nani is okay, it's in a Yeah, that's how, how long we've been doing it. We started in March 2022. So, yeah, it, it, it is a year and a half. Mm. Um and just to see some of the, the impacts and the feedback that we've gotten and the mistakes that we've made and the learnings. Mm -hmm. And to have people like you who are industry uh, uh, leaders, per se, in what they're doing. Wow. You've been in broadcasting for quite a, for quite a while now and you've climbed the ranks in it's broadcasting. Crazy. So thank you so much for recognizing our little work. No, I must say, I, I really respect your platform. Um my platform you go and you're afraid that your brand is going to be tarnished sure, somehow and sure. you know you don't know what you're going to expect but this it feels like a safe space from mm. what i've watched people come here they're able to be themselves and yeah that's authentic yeah, so i yeah. really i really love that about the platform shout out to you guys the team. <laughs> yes yes <laughs> uh they we definitely are because of them i mean i just sit here and 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 think and have the conversations yeah. but as you know in broadcasting there's so much that happens before this particular moment mm -hmm. where we sit down and Be have the conversation yes like i didn't sleep guys so, so why is your husband so hot where did you see my husband <laughs> 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 Where did you see my husband? He's hot. So why, why, why are you pig? We are pig in. Oh no, <laughs> honey, my man is fat. Yeah, but what yeah. I'm saying is, um, one people. Oh, I'm fit. I'm fit. Those who need to know him, I get it. They know him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If yeah. You, if if there's a need for you to know me, I'm as but I'm fit. We have to be close enough for you to know that aspect of my life. Yes. It's only fair. It's only fair, and I feel with social media and the entertainment industry, we give so much. There's certain things that we want to hold sacred. And I get that. for me, that's my family. Like, 
don't touch my family. Don't touch my family. Yeah. Why do you think, conversely, there are other people who use family to elevate their brand? Hey, they're brave, hey? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not that brave. I think... I wear my heart on my skin uh, a little too much. Just a, an example of when I decided, even my mom, because my mom was on my platform a lot in the earlier days. Uh, there was a situation where I was tasting this drink, yeah, bo, and I kept tasting the different flavors and giving my opinion mm. of what this flavor is. I'm just trying to give you context. And a lady sent me a DM. What? Why do you care what it tastes like? It's not like your mother made it. I'm like, and that time my mom was in hospital, by the way. I was just so like, the timing was, was like it was so bad. I was like, my family, yeah, keep. I can't, I can't mm, handle this because mm, do you mm, feel mm. familiar enough? So you can now make reference to my mom. Mm. You can make reference to my husband. No, let's yeah. let's not do that. Yeah, yeah. Is mom a big part of who you are? Oh, guys, that's my girl. Mm. I call her my sweet girl. Mm-hmm. Even on my phone, she's safe like that. Um, yeah, man, I'm a product of prayer. She's a prayer warrior um, of sacrifices, of of being led by a really strong woman. She was a police officer. Oh, wow. Uh, recently retired. The girl oh, wow. is now living her best life. She's learning how to swim. We got her into swimming lessons. We're trying to figure out what to send Zani next. <laughs> but we are in that era of life. Yeah. 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 She told me yeah. she can float now, which is cute. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, we ask this good thing and from learning the actual skill, but okay, keep going. Don't. Yeah. Yeah. She's it's, a big part. So on this platform, I can see you used to having three minutes to talk. Yeah. <laughs> you can now, but just really tell me okay. how she has contributed to okay. who you are. Uh, obviously with my background, it's like get to the point. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so let me just give you background and context as to who I am, where I'm from and mm-hmm, get mm-hmm. to 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 my mom so born and bred in durban mm-hmm. uh, i'm a bred, like proper durban i grew up in <laughs> phoenix <laughs> i went to green heights primary for the longest time in my life i spoke like that like sure. you know the yes. proper proper durban uh, 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 accent yeah yes yeah, yeah. so i went to green heights primary greenbury secondary and then i went to effingham the reason why I changed high schools twice is because, again, this is where my mom comes in. Mm. My mom always knew that I was going to be in the entertainment industry. So when I went to my first high school, um, they didn't have a drama, drama uh, studies. Mm-hmm. And then I found a school, told my mom, like, girl, I found a school. It's reasonable. Um, it's in Red Hill. It'll be on the way when you're going to work. So uh, I want to go there because I'm from the drama. And girl was like, let's go check it out if that's what you want to do. Supported me. And I transferred schools. So that's my high school. And then I get to university. I go to UKZN. The girl is still supporting me. What do you want to do? Is it still drama? I got the highest in my grade for e drama. I got the award. I didn't fetch it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was busy. <laughs> so I get to university. I uh, do e music mm-hmm. and, and drama. This is now UKZN. Ukel is still rooting for me and Jay behind me. And first year of university. Did I not fail music? After so much investment in you being No, a but Minagi, drama student. Yeah. Guys, people don't speak about the numbers to music. Sure. Guys, I don't know what is my land. I'm music. I'm going to go to the And I did not sleep, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so my mom was like, okay, what's your story? Like, what do you want to do? So I changed majors from uh, music, Bellingham and English. So then I changed my degree to um, drama and English. I changed towards the end of first year. And I said, we're very jumpy. So yeah. And my mom started having a hearing issue. Mm-hmm. Like her hearing was just going downhill. And then she starts using, I'm a hearing aids. Mm-hmm. Like it was that hectic. And this one day, uh, I walk into into the house, like, fully from the gate, from outside, again, and lean. And then I find her sitting on the bed. She looks at me, how I'm like, didn't you hear me? And she just sobs. Because she realizes that the, 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 she could, she the intensity of not hearing. Yes, yeah, she, yeah. she couldn't hear. And she said to me, I remember it was November 2016. She says to me, Shuti, I'll never hear you on stage singing. Yo, yo. I was like, damn, like yeah, this is yeah. this is hectic. 
2017, January Idols happens. Mm-hmm. I'm auditioning. So shortly after, I was like, this, this yeah, incident, no, I, that's this when issue. I decided. I'm yeah. like, okay, I don't know how much time I have. Like, I don't know where this thing of whom I would say is right. Yeah, P, like, mm, mm. could it be that one day, like, it's done, done, done? So that next year, like a month later, I told her, Mom, I'm going to go on Idols. I've been pushing it for many years, but Lento Aisho, it's stuck, and I'm going to do it. And, yeah, that's where the journey of the public figure entertainment girl started. I go on Idols, and, man, it so- was crazy. Something just came to me. Yeah. So, uh, uh, mom's pain, mom's um, a, a, a tragedy, mom's trauma, the pain um, birthed purpose because yes. it's birthing your journey, the beginning of yes. your journey. Yes. Um, without you knowing it, but you had been putting it off for so much that God was like, oh, when I'm telling you softly as a gentle God mm-hmm. with love and grace to do this yeah. because it's your purpose, you don't listen. How about we shove you into it through pain? crazy story uh within the idol's journey I, I i remember that i used to have an ent ear nose and throat specialist and i'm like wait maybe i should get a second opinion for my mom does she not go get a second opinion and realize that the doctor misdiagnosed her she just needs to clean out wax from <laughs> she used to clean out the wax she went to hospital came back she no longer had an ear and a hearing problem that's and she, all it was that's all it was. She was at every single live performance. She could hear every... Yes, guys. Sure. Sometimes it needs to be harsh. Yeah. And listen. It's like, do it. Like, it's here. It's in front of you. Grab it. Um, and, that's, and that's what birthed who I am today, mm. essentially. Because yeah. sometimes we don't listen to the soft, still voice of God. No. We are so, no, what? we don't. Mm. We, 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 we listen to things that look dangerous that look scary, that shove us into purpose. Yes. But when God is speaking softly and gentle, saying, do this, I'm directing you here, I'm directing you here, mm. we negate that. Yes, we do. Yeah. We do. Introducing the epitome of luxury living. Galu Luxury Villas and Suites, your private sanctuary of opulence and elegance. Nestled amongst the lush, sun-kissed landscapes of Durban, KwaZulu-Natal, this Galu Luxury Villa is a paradise of tranquility, offering breathtaking panoramic views of the neighborhood. Step into a world of refined luxury where every detail has been meticulously crafted to create an atmosphere of sophistication and comfort. This villa is kept within a gated and secure property for your peace of mind. The Kalu Villa is available for both short-term and long-term stays, making it the ideal location for your next vacation or special event. This villa boasts spacious living areas and floor-to-ceiling windows that flood the interior with natural light, making you feel at one with the surrounding beauty paired with multiple terraces, an outdoor lounge and a dining area. Live the dream, make memories and indulge in the life you deserve. Contact us today to book your stay or to learn more about this exquisite property. Your oasis of opulence awaits. Um, and, and that's exactly what I did up until God literally came into our house and was like, you need to do this. So that was 2017 now, uh, South African Idols, a roller coaster, a journey that I would not trade for anything. It shaped who I am in the industry because what people don't know during the week eh, and we are rehearsing and stuff they actually take us to like not necessarily boot camp but classes that teach you etiquette in the industry sure when trolls come for you how do you react you don't when people are asking you the BTS behind the scenes of how this is done, there's only certain things that you can say. This is the decorum. This is how this is how it goes in the industry. When you're getting booked percentages, fees, this is how it works. You are literally schooled as to how to survive in the entertainment industry. So that's part of what shaped me into being the sh- that I am today. That's interesting because Idols as a brand has taken a lot of flack from people uh, and people have said 
No, idols just, uh, uh, th- th- there's a younger Sobek interview where she says, idols fans are not your fans. Yes, I get True. where she's coming from, that idols is creating a brand that might make you think you're more famous than you actually are mm. because the show is famous and, so not necessarily, and not necessarily you, the contestant. Yes. But at the same time, you coming to me with a positive side where you're saying there are these boot camps that teach you how to be an entertainer in totality. Mm, because I remember one of the first ones, it was with a certain bank. And Guagnama speakers, proper people, prominent people from from the finance industry, from record labels. They give you a diary, notes, you're taking down notes, you are learning the tricks of the trade, you know. But I do agree with what Yanga said. Whether it's Tikaba, whether it's Ulungelo, whether it's who, they're still going to watch the show. Yeah. It's honey. It is not about you. Yeah, if it was, yeah. Mo eliminator, they stop, they boycott, but that's yeah, your family. Yeah. You think everybody did. I mean, I'm how a boogie. And the show goes on. Goes on. Yeah, the show always goes on. Take me to the day you were eliminated. What was happening to your heart? Honey, was I not happy? <laughs> really? Yes. So, I'm claustrophobic, man. And I told them when I got into the top 10, which, no matter what happens, guys, let me just be honest. I'm full of peshe. Guess up. If I know it. Yes, see, suppose I am. I told them, no matter what happens, I do not want to go. Because I think that, yeah, when you were in London, and, and, and Sasisa is going to be an international trip. We didn't know where it was going. But I knew for a fact, honey, no. I didn't want to go. Also, secondly, I was there not necessarily to win. That wasn't the mindset that I went in with, but I was there for exposure because that's what idols is. That's what you need to use it for and grow your following. If you need to grow your following, grow, grow your relationships with people. Cause there are a lot of very important people that Absolutely. actually come to the live shows. Absolutely. And so, yeah, those are the type of relationships that you, you, you build when you are on a platform like idols. Do you, do you, okay. You were happy on the day, but surely there's a, a, a level of sadness you have to deal with, especially among your family. I mean, what are they going through when on the day you're eliminated? I need to pay them back. Yo, there's nothing that I hated more than that. They're like, hey, what? Everywhere I go, like even till today, okay, like, please leave me alone. That's I'm, a, I'm a, heartbroken. <laughs> um, that's the only thing young, uh, that was painful. Yeah. Um, what else? I wasn't mad because you know, um, I don't know if you've watched on my Instagram the the video that I posted after Umembe, so I'm how my husband met me. Mm-hmm. He saw that video, my elimination uh, elimination video on on idols on on idols, yes, yeah. on the YouTube page, and I was saying, guys, I'm so happy, like to. Pr- to show you that I really was. And I was like, I miss church. I miss my family. Like, I had never been away from my family like that. So, I was happy to go home, if I'm being honest. Like, there's... I guys, nganging eko Yeah, yeah, yeah. And do you feel like you left at the right time? No. Mm-hmm. The reason why I say no is because that performance that I was going to do that night, it was Only Girl in the World by Rihanna. Mm-hmm. Yo. Yeah. Honey, I practiced. Yeah. I, I guess it was, what is this? Uh, the showstopper. Showstopper. Yeah. <laughs> I had all the bells, the whistles. I was ready to. Oh, uh, yo, when I heard my name, I'm like, but what about my rehearsals? I didn't work so hard, child. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's the only thing that I was mad about. I, I, I want to not quickly go past through this because you mentioned it, which I believe there's a beautiful story behind it. You're saying, once again, pain birthing purpose. The original pain was the perceived disability that your mother has, mm. where you guys perceived her to be getting deaf, yeah. only to realize that it was a misdiagnosis. <clears throat> yep. But that pushed you into your purpose where your career started as a musician, mm-hmm. as an entertainer in totality. Furthermore, that comes again in the journey. It goes full circle where your husband sees you being eliminated from idols, sees a video, and that's how he reaches out. So how did he reach out? <laughs> he didn't reach out. So he saw my first audition, ne? Yeah. And he recorded it. He still has it on his phone. He showed me after this is Tandana Gota because he didn't want to look like a creep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he showed me, guys. He showed me, look, I recorded your first um, audition. 
And then he saw, like, but he, he didn't understand, like, what's, oh, I, I'm taking a liking to this person, but I don't, like, I didn't know him, like, at all. And then he got saying Eliminator, he, he got convicted after he saw that video, which said, no, man, there's something about this girl. Like, how is she like this? And something like that just happened. So um, I had a friend uh, that I was on the idol's journey with, Minnie. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So in December, we were bored. We were at my house. I remember while we were at my house. And her cousin uh, calls her, how? When's that? And we're like, no, we're just chilling. No, come through. We're having a reunion with uh, our high school friends. we just brying its vibes. It wasn't wasteful. Just we pry. He pry. He pry. He said pry. He says, gish, but my big boozer. No, we pry. Pry is the perfect space. It's not too loud. Yeah. Go, go, go. Yeah. I, so... It's okay, no, we can get to town, but we can't we, we can't get to, to Westville. Can you guys pick us up in town? We go, you're walking towards this car, my base car now. Now Pill is my bay. I get in, I look through the review mirror. Lapa, I have a boyfriend at the time. Oh, oh son. Oh, it's <laughs> 10 days. Lapa, before I have young man, the relationship. It's oh, we're brand like, new. Brand new. Yeah. I'm a slam tunnel vision. I get into the car, Minnie was sitting on this side and I'm sitting here and I'm like, oh my God, the driver's so hot. <laughs> and she's like, see, you have a boyfriend, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, bruh, what do you mean? Who is that? Like, this guy is hot. I, okay, now his version is, he couldn't believe it when he saw me walk across the road mm-hmm. because I guess he has this this video, mm-hmm. uh, this recording, mm-hmm. and he has uh, uh, the 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 YouTube clip of me being eliminated. Same year, Jal. This is all 2017. Mm-hmm. So maybe this happened around September, and he's seeing this person yeah, that yeah. he took a like towards his car. To, He was so quiet. Like I'm like, okay, isn't he gonna say hi? Oh my goodness! <laughs> And then it happened, Oguti, we ended up being in the car, just the two of us, because Minnie left with her cousin, yeah. and we had to fetch other people. So mm-hmm. I couldn't stay in the house with people I didn't know. Rather, I go with this person, and, and Silandila Baba Nyingbazi. So we're driving with this guy, and then we start talking. I'm like, oh, I'm in love so much. <laughs> <laughs> I love him so much. <laughs> you know, we're talking, but he's only just responding to what I'm saying, you know. And then it comes out... Mm, that he knew my friend. Then we video call my friend. How wanna post man man? Okay, sharp. Anyway, I need to I need to mention this. A year later, sis Choli, we started dating on the day, by the way. Hi. On that day. Twenty like second of December. He, he was a side dude. Should. He knew. He knew. That he's a side dude. Had, he wasn't a side dude. I just had <laughs> things to take care of. <laughs> I had things to take care of. I find out a year later. Yeah, boy, this this one it, it breaks my heart a little bit. Scrolling on my phone, um, I don't know what I was looking for in a chat with the friend. I come along and video call in the car. Scrolling on my phone, I'm like, hi, boy. Yeah, but this is my BNG in a chat. I press on the picture, and I, <laughs> I go to the chat, and I realize that my friend had a crush on my bed. She sent me a picture. Years before I even met him. So I said, you have a boyfriend and I move on. Yeah. yeah, and that was the end of our friendship, Shim. Like, yeah, sorry. I didn't know though. I didn't. But it was just a crush, nothing more. Like, yeah, no, no. It was n- it was nothing more. They yeah. never they never met like this face to face up until I was in the picture. Because now one day it was very awkward at at, at, at some stage. You know, wondered why is my friend overzealous here? Like, why, 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 why is it like this? So, girl code is uh, in Kazelin. Girl code, eating, she crush is off limits. No, she didn't say that. She didn't come out and say that this person is this person that I sent you a picture. I figured it out on my own. Now, Connie Foots, I think it was God trying to show me good. Hi, boo. Connie, Connie, because Connie isn't just as in between. I'm just like. Why? Why is she uncomfortable? Why? Mm. What's going on? Anyway, besides the point. So that's how we got together. We had a little bit of a matiza teaser here and there, but we've dated since the day we met. That's amazing. Yeah. How long has that been? Six years in December. That's amazing. And married? Uh, 2019, customarily, yeah. yeah. So it's been, it's been, I, I share my sangere to me. Recent. I get that. Yeah, I share when I'm ready. Because, yeah, it, it, it may be perceived as if it was mm. Yeah. 2019. Yeah. That's how many years? 
2022 to 24 years. Why does marriage still work? Marriage only works if both parties are willing to make it work. It doesn't work if one person is putting in the, the effort and the other isn't. And I think for me, the reason why it means so much for me to be in a solid home and a solid relationship is because I don't come from that. Um, so yeah, just having that family dynamic and knowing, guys, I mean, there's, there's, there's one thing that I, I always preach about if you ask me about marriage. There's Aiko Indefana, or that can be compared to having someone who has your back constantly, without a shadow of a doubt. You know, if I make this call, they drop everything for you. Just having that, knowing that someone has your back like that, is, is unmatched. It's unmatched. I love how you say that, but I'm also thinking about the person who says, statistically, 67% of South Africans divorce in the first five within the first five years of getting married mm. so that and the means, first year is the hardest and and that me, so that means that statistically marriages are not working baruti is here saying that as a minority person because majority of people are not married by the way mm -hmm. as a minority individual she's advocating for this marriage concept so much even though on a daily basis we see marriages ending mm. We see marriages being infiltrated by external forces. <laughs> there are marriages where... There are marriages where it's... Your husband is not the person who drops things for you. There are people where they've... Because in eight of them, they've been crying. But your experience so far is, no, it's a person who is fully there for me without a shadow of a doubt. Yeah. Um, so marriage isn't all that amazing. Um, I'm not going to sit here and lie and say marriage is easy. No, it's not easy. And I, I posted it on my engagement message um, where I was like to my husband, well, but to the public as well, because it's something I wanted to share. In terms of there are things that you find out about yourself in marriage that you just like, I did not know I had this issue. I did not know I was this person. Mm. So that unraveling for other people can lead to uh, uh, and not understanding. No, these are things that are supposed to bring you closer. For example, I mentioned me I grew up without my dad. Um, we're okay. We have a, a cordial relationship, but I grew up in a female headed household. If Uma said, no, it's done. It's not happening. So having to... Submit. <laughs> hey, guys, I'm trapped up on <laughs> To submit. I need to tell you where I'm going. <laughs> Why? You know, I, I need to... I need, and then you have an opinion that could be against mine. And, and you're in control. You're the head of the household. It was hard. I, I don't want to lie to you. Having to, to relinquish control and be like, you know what? A man is the head of the household and I, I, I need to, to take somewhat some direction because I'm the neck and he's the head. It's, it's those things that kill most of our relationships. Your inability to say, okay, fine, I didn't get raised with a dad in the household, so I may not understand this concept. Okay, am I willing to learn? Am I teachable? Uh, is it something I'm even willing to get into and, and unravel myself in that way? Am I willing to be vulnerable? If you're not, it's not going to work. It's, it's not. Jada Pinkett Smith says wait, that. Wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> Jada Pinkett Smith. Please, please. There's, there's context <laughs> to what she says. <laughs> Jada Pinkett Smith. Um, says that a lot of the dynamics between her marriage with Will have been private to them. Mm -hmm. Hence, the judgment has been so large and big because people do not know the context of why they've made certain decisions between the two of them. Mm -hmm. For example, she's adamant that she's never cheated on him because for the past six years, they have been separated, but it's just that they chose not to announce their separation. For the past six years. She also says in the separation phase, okay. because they've been together for so long, they, uh, they understood that Jada and Will are a family 
first before Jada and Will are, are couple. married couple. Okay. So the reason they chose not to divorce and rather separate Ish. is because they, they maintained the family unit. So all the things they could do as a family, they did. Okay. But they were separated as lovers who are in a romantic relationship. So they're no longer together. They were no lo- they're no longer together, yes, till this day, right? So for the past six years, they're separated, which means between the two of them, she emphasizes, they were able to pursue relationships with other people if they wanted to okay. because they are not s- divorced. They are separated. That, that's the difference. Okay. So where I'm going is modern marriages don't necessarily take the shape of a man a man is a head of house yeah. and a woman is the neck that supports the system to make mm. everything work together um there are modern mar- marriages that have lasted because that traditional sense of being married they identified between the two of them because this thing is not working for us mm. so perhaps let's explore different options yeah um don't you think people should have grace to explore those options then hey boo, each to their own hey if it works for you, I always say, go for it. You know, um, there are certain things in my relationship that maybe people will be like, how oh, really you're doing it that way. But it's, it's us. That's how we want to do things, you know? Um, and, and I, 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 I think it's only fair that people are given the option of choices and to decide how they want to navigate their relationships. It's only fair. Yeah. 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 How do you, how do you feel though? It's, you seem like you were very in disagreement with how she's done things. Um, how do you, how do you feel about the, the, uh, perhaps uh, I think it's she perhaps you angry that she's removed the sacredness from marriage because it's supposed to be between the two of them? I think she doesn't owe us an explanation. Okay. That's those are my feelings. She's I, overshared. Yeah, yeah, like she doesn't owe us an explanation, but also in the same breath, the only reason why I did this is because of there's an article I wrote where she was talking about his size. Um, of I was just like, girl, girl, she stop. did that. Yes, I saw it somewhere on an article. I was like, Gaga, she needs to be stopped at no, this point. No, no, no. <laughs> exactly. That's why I was just like, like guys, uh, <laughs> yeah, and, and, and like, honestly speaking, she just needs to stop. She doesn't owe us an explanation. The same way I share what I'm comfortable with because I don't owe anybody but my family and people close to me an explanation. Okay, yeah. that, that's a new level. Like, why are you speaking about what you, your partner and you do privately and intimately? No, as in, like, if anything, yeah. the only people that um, I'd explain anything to or need to understand is my family. But besides that... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Saying you should know, I'm just thinking about what she did in that article. Like, why, oh, why, the article. You, why, why Look, would you ever... Sana, 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 sana. And it's a video, apparently, um, where she spoke about Will's... but i was very disappointed that's why i was just like don't tell me about that lady like i have nothing against her but there's 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 levels like boundaries bruh like Mm. you don't do that yeah and and it wasn't a negative type of connotation as in like it's not that have you ever been in a situation where you thought my marriage is crumbling yeah um and it's it's in line with accepting what's okay this person is not here to be my dad whatever animosity and feelings i have about that relationship Mm -hmm. cannot be fixed by this man who i've just met um and just having to accept that these are two separate people he's not going to fill a specific void that i need to be filled yeah babuam but he's here in his individual capacity and to fill a totally different role. How about that shift and having to understand that and also humbling myself to say, okay, you know what? What I thought was going to happen is not how it's going to happen. There's a different picture that needs to be painted. I think for me that that was the moment where everything changed. And thanks to therapy because I just could not understand why I... I had this wall up where like I'm trying like why are you so de- and so defensive you know and I realized I, I don't know how to have a relationship with a man like that intimately yeah, I'm, yeah. I, I'm, I've never seen it I didn't see it at home I don't blame my parents you know life happens I didn't see it the way it's portrayed in the movies is 
Allah, mm-hmm. <laughs> because I, I expected these roses. And can't you know this person is here to teach me about myself as well? Things that I realized at the time that should say I wasn't ready to learn about myself. So yeah, I went to therapy. I got to know myself a lot better, and here we are. Would you then say that you were at the core of why your marriage almost ended? Yes. Yeah. I can I can say that. Yeah, I can. But also like I'm saying, it's in acceptance and learning. Nay unezin dozake as well. Um that I'm 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 not going to obviously unpack because it's not him who's speaking here. He would have to speak for himself. But we learned a lot about ourselves in our relationships and we are working on those things that were not so easy because now he grew up he raised by a single mother mm-hmm. you know so of course he didn't see this family structure that we are now trying to build you know we have no template we we have we started starting from nothing like mm-hmm. it's mm-hmm. not going to be easy but like i said in the beginning when we started it takes two people that are willing and want to make it work in order for it to work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, last question about your husband. Hey, we are tired. Hi, boo. Hi, boo. <laughs> uh, there's something I was just catching up on, which was a realization to me, Uguti. You know, we take this external factor, third person thing lightly, especially nowadays where it's like, but as a man, there's no such thing as another woman stole you. You you go yourself to that woman. Uh-huh. But I feel like that removes accountability on the person who's also coming to meddle into a person's marriage. Mm. Because when, as soon as the person tells you or you're aware that yes. they're married, as a human being, you, you should have the common decency to say, if I were married, would I want somebody else to come into my marriage mm. too? Where I'm going with this is that I was watching a lot of, uh, uh, sorry, I was, I was consuming content where a lady was crying because of an Instagram influencer who came into her marriage and her marriage ended. She, um, she, there was a day where she went, she woke up one day, she was going to work and she was called by her gardener 30 minutes later and the gardener said, are we moving in with Zagalan? The, the slay queen had moved in and got a, a truck to move all her things out. <laughs> Uh, removed her her, her, her her fingerprints from the gate and she was just kicked out of her home like that. I'm getting chills. You know? And the reason I'm asking that is that it's taken so lightly, but what do you have to say to people who undermine the importance of not dating married men? Just bear in mind, Uwuti. Uwokal. This was Ifungo in front of God. Mm. Oh, it's okay. We are going to do this, right? So first there's God, right? Then there's family. When you do this and you step into another woman's house, forgetting how would you feel if somebody did that to you, number one? And think of the family that you're about to break because already, Lime Zanzi guys, most houses are female led, you know, already creating its own uh, traumas, you know, in as much as it's not wrong uh, that our moms are, they, they, they steer the ship. But you, you'd want that family dynamic with Konuma, Konubaba, Konuban. So when Amausuyonge na lapo, think of the repercussions, think of your future generations because once you start this people don't realize this is how generational curses start you know this this is how i'm a body this is how they start this 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 is um suga why is you consciously deciding to hurt another woman what i love is that karma has everybody's address and you can't run away from it you 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 cannot like you can't do something bad to someone else and expect to just live a hunky dory life that's not how it happens just don't do it don't hurt another woman whether you know them whether you don't whatever the case may be just it's it's wrong like it's wrong but see there are women who do that get the first wife out she becomes destitute they move in and they get married by the guy i'm shot and they live like 
just don't do it to another woman. Yeah. When as I'm just fazani, rather have a conversation with that woman and be like, yo, this is what your husband is doing. Allow her to decide. Allow her to decide, are you staying? Are you fixing your marriage? Is Timbul? Is Alana? And also to the men, can you just be upfront before Kushatu Uting Funis Tim? Mm. Just be transparent from the get go that this is my goal. Because isn't a ning is gonna avoid dega if you were just transparent from the start. You think it's manipulation? Yes, it yeah. is. It yeah. is, and it's unfair. Yeah. So for men, if go and bella, that's what you want. Before umuntu uzum fagi ring, because jalo masu fagi ringi wangena nomde in aglo lugo to pull me. Absolutely, it's not easy. So na kono se trepegi lege manjigle situation. So the men. Be honest that this is what I want to do. Ugiyegelele gumutos fazani to decide if they want to stay or they want to leave. When I'm just fazani, so figure again, manje as a second, third, or fourth, or fifth, have the conversation to, with the woman and be bold and 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 be honest. Ugu, see, this is what's happening. Your husband came and did this and this and this and this and this. And dear woman, dear wives, if a woman comes to you like that, enga alu enga tug, listen and then decide what you want to do with the information. Sure. I think if we did things like that. Yo, the embarrassment. I hear you. I hear you. Yeah. Because it, 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 it as much as it's painful, it's but very your, painful. your dignity is maintained. Yes. If somebody comes to you cordially and says, by the way, your man is doing this. Your man is doing this. And this is how I feel about your man. You yeah. know, and, and he's told me maybe, he's told me this. I don't know how you feel or what you're going to do with the information. But Mina, if I say I'm willing to get into that dynamic, know the details before before the mess happens. Yeah. I think I think that would help. Yeah. Yeah. I I I I know you speak about the, the the possibility or not the possibility rather the fact that as a man you should be upfront with saying Uguti. Um, I think I'd want this temple in the future rather mm. than Ugzumumundo when you're in the middle yeah. of the relationship or the Sing marriage. Gane. Yeah. Say, oh. But uh, 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 are you negating that people change? What if 10 years in, I only realize that... Yeah. See, people change. People hey. evolve. Mama. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, no. And that's a re- an evolution that's a possibility, unfortunately. For who? For humans. Hey, Nami, polyandry. <laughs> Let's meet each other. Uh, okay, I call it. <laughs> <laughs> no, man, people just need to stop being selfish. Yeah. Uh, if I if I have to be honest, uh, just stop being selfish and making decisions based on e- 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 what you want and what you or e- e- your desires. You need to, when you make decisions, can they just be holistic? Mm. As men, can they be holistic? Okay, isn't my fixer and mama wambly? Isn't Ganizam? Abba's album, dignity, it's in, you know? Like, what does it look like in the grand scheme of things? Ungains, it decision, go, banaku, in the moment it feels right. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. I promise you that was the last one. So I'll no, keep no, my no, honor. That, no, 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 but maybe um, when people who consume this content go to your Instagram and see it, they'll be really amazed with how far you've come with it. Why was it so important, firstly, for you to go through breast reduction surgery? And then furthermore, ah, I've done it. Uh, deuces. Let me take other people on this journey as well. Yeah. Um, so I was a 38K. That was my bus size. K, like A, B, C, D, That's E, home. F, G, H, I, J, K. Like they were massive. And it's, 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 it's such a shame that, uh, uh large breasts are so sexualized. And I was with Petwe, oh no, my back is killing me. Uh, I'm uncomfortable to walk. I, I feel like my shoulders are about to come off my, my damn body. Like there's just so much that we go through as women. And Amabella just looked at as 
sexualized or to feed a baby. Like, you. you know, and so I wanted to bring awareness to go see, listen, we go through a lot as women with a larger bus size. It's not just what you see, but internally. Uh, I know you probably see um, these memes, it's the one thing that women look forward to when they get home. Is to take off their bra. Yes. Yeah. It's not just for vibes that we say that. It's because it's uncomfortable. And and that's the truth. So when the campaign started, it actually started this month, um, last year, um, where I wanted to do it for a listener. I'm calling it the Breast Friend Campaign because it's uh, Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Sure. And then I approached Dr. Susan. She looked great on social media. I liked her vibe. Very funky. She does the sneaker thing. She has like, for all her scrubs, hey, scrubs these days. <laughs> for all her scrubs, she wears different um, sneakers. So I was yeah. like, oh, I like her vibe. So I go to her and I was like, I want to do this, but for a listener who's deserving. I wasn't thinking of myself at the time. And then she's like, oh, how about, because I can see you also have a large bust. Is it something you have thought about? Is it something you want to do? I'm like, yeah, I've thought about it. I've flirted with the idea, but I, I don't know if I'm ready. She's like, Girl, be ready because we can do the two of you. I'm like, what? That's how it started. And that's what gave birth to what Breast Friend, uh, the Breast Friend campaign is now. Um, so we just finished with two other candidates. Yes, yes, yes. And um, that was really, really incredible. I saw them, I think, two weeks ago. They look completely different. Mm, mm. But different in a good way. I can even see with the confidence that I confidence is there's something yeah, that happens when yeah. you have a breast reduction or you do something for your body that you really wanted mm. that just takes the confidence and shoots it up why do you think breast reduction is more socially acceptable than breast enlargement it's because um breast enlargement is more aesthetic like it's it, it, the, even i'm a medical aid they don't pay for it because it's aesthetic it's something that you want Gandhi, i didn't ask for these big boobs you know like it's not something i signed up for i didn't ask for the small boobs either i got a little boob I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> Kuklugu, yes. Where is it paining you? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's that situation. Kuklugu, <laughs> you're going to get a big deal. Hey. Hey. So my right. Yeah. Just wear a padded bra or something. Yeah. 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 Interesting. Interesting. Um, and just how has been the response from the ladies who've, who've, who've received it? Yo, I got a message um, just yesterday. Uh, do you mind me sharing the message from sure, Yami? It's, sure. a, it's a year. Um, it's a year next month since we did our breast reduction. So you did it together at the time. Literally, we were in the theater together. She sent me a message. Like I, I cried a little bit. Um, this was yesterday. Literally yesterday. We makla bangiti agengi shonje uguti lukulu. Um, you've restored my confidence. called names, especially because of my height, um, as well. There were times where I cried, but God sent you. I owe you big time. I pray. It's it's fulfilling. Like, there's, I, I can't compare it to anything else. It's fulfilling. And people don't realize that, as you're saying, it's for someone's self-esteem. It's uh, for someone, how they feel about their self-worth. It's also for medical reasons. It's mm. actually hurting you. you as you're yeah. saying, you're in perpetual pain. Mm. Who wants to be in pain every day of their you don't. life? You don't. You don't. Especially from a younger age. Because, Mina, I had big boobs from a younger age. Playing sport was difficult. I felt uncomfortable. I didn't understand why my body looks different from everybody else. Yeah. There's just a lot of things that also go on in your in your mind, you know, about about the way that you look. So, yeah, it's a combination of things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, um, it, do you perceive then, as you're saying, that enlarging them is more of an aesthetic thing? Is that your perception overall with plastic surgery or doing things to your body? Um, I think do what you like, eh? And the intro that you feel comfortable with. Um, not me, there's things that I still love to do with my body because I'm just like, girl, man, gas it, Jake, it's a snatch. I always say that. But yeah, just do what will make you happy, essentially. If enlarging something will make you happy, do it. Do it. Just do what makes you happy. That's what. That, those are my thoughts about plastic surgery. What do you say to God when you pray? Yeah. 
Is that your biggest yo. overarching prayer? Yeah. 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 Like. Is it also a crippling fear sometimes when you think about the possibility of her passing on? Yeah. Yeah. Um, 2020 was a hard year because she had COVID. Like, not your ordinary COVID. I remember she got admitted on the 27th of December. Mm, 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 mm. My mom was in hospital on 100% oxygen. Like, when I say 100%, like, she couldn't breathe on her own. Um, it was hectic. And that fear that you're talking about, it's crazy that I didn't have it. I, I had so much faith in God. I was like, God, this is not the story you wrote for us, mm. you know. So Ingako, like it's my constant prayer and thus far he has answered it and yeah, I'm grateful. Would you say it's the most painful thing you've gone through in your life? Yes, by far. But hey guys, actually when I look back now at some of the things people tell me I was doing, like, like crazy. I leave the house. I started selling, uh, selling a furniture at our apartments. I said I wanted change. Because I'm my hubby. Yeah. Why buga jaban to me geda? Umu zola do sofa. Oh, so taisi le maklam. Yes, pay but it. Umu sofa, geda ba shak, taisi fridgey. Yay. But now when I look back, I'm just like, what the hell was I doing? You know, um, I take the car. Nyo shale pa vai parking. By myself. I again, it's I'm not on my phone. I'm just sitting there in silence. I have no clue what's going on. I can't visit my mom because at that time, um, Sasna mm, mm, mm. eh, yo, bruh, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was the most difficult time of my life. We we're nearing the the end of our conversation, but before we get there, I... <laughs> <laughs> yes. it is. Yeah. Um, <laughs> before we get there. Um, notice I deliberately didn't speak much about radio because your radio career people no. have lived it and no. seen it yes. and experienced it in in their eyes. So I think it is not too beneficial to ask you how did you get into radio oh, because no, yes. everybody knows. Yes. Um, and for those who don't know, um, guys, people send demos. People get poached. It's, it's either one of the two. Yeah. It's either you sent a demo or you got poached to come to the radio station, uh, right? Yeah, mine was a little different, but yeah, sure. Yeah, yes. yeah. Um, but what I do want to ask about radio is um, a lot of people who are on radio, they always say radio is my first love. Is radio your first love? Mm, it wasn't. Mm. I, I, I didn't have a thing. It was like, I'm your saga. Yeah. You know? <laughs> no. But instead, I, 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 I realized now what I was doing it subliminally, like, like, subconsciously, rather, not subliminally, what the hell? Subconsciously. I was <laughs> really billboard. Read with that voice. I'm mm. for great classics. Mm. But like, you know, mm. that's what everybody used to do. And then when I got found, because I was seen on a TV show, I was campus radio, and I called a jiggy, sagazela, if I'm being honest, like mm. I was, I was very loud, and that's what I thought radio was, and then they saw me on a TV show, uh, with my friend, uh, Minnie, and, they were like, oh, we like these girls, come through, we go, I'm like, this is a lie, East Coast Radio wants mm. me, mm. I don't even know what the hell I'm doing, we get to the meeting, um, and, ooh, ooh, uh, my former boss is like, yo, we want to offer you guys a show, three to six, like drive so i am amazing no, no. <laughs> <laughs> it was not drive it was three to six in the morning on a saturday and a it's sunday a <laughs> you know um but literally from that moment that's when i was like oh so i guess it is love because it found me mm. you know mm. it, it it found me and oh man what a journey mm. it's been it's been it's it's been really beautiful you have hopefully one day if it's something that is in your you feel is with is in your destiny and mm -hmm. it's something that you want um you have a beautiful daughter and this is the last video she sees or she comes across this video of you in 15 years time um what are you saying to her <laughs> um follow your dreams they're valid, 
I know that's so cliche, but Ukokwako, which is my mom, has supported every dream that I've ever had and helped me be the person that I am. And that's what I want for you. Every dream that you have, it's reachable. You can do it. We all have one thing that we absolutely, totally believe in. What's that one thing you know for sure? God never fails. I always like to say, even if he's four days late, he's always on time. Guess cuts like in. We like all late mean, but on his time, he's on time. And I make reference to um stories I Lazarus. Cause it's champi le, like he's in there in the tomb, like it's done, it's done. Go late. Mary's crying. Jesus comes through. He's like, oh, okay, get out of there. Poom type of situation. And that's the type of faith that I have in God. I've got last thing born, I can't say, ha. Like, it's, it's tough. Like, tough times are lasting. Like, I know the God I serve. He took my mother out of 100% oxygen and said, you will live mm-hmm. and you will live to tell the story. He's the same God who was like, no, eh, eh, it's a situation where it's negative, but I'm going to turn it around and turn it into positive. And that's been my, my life. My, my testimony has been the fact that when I go through turmoil, I know that something, something good is going to come my way. For every test, there truly is a testimony. I believe it. Um, T. Kaba is on East Coast Radio. She is a musician. Uh, if you've seen Idols, you've seen her. You've probably cried with her, celebrated with her, and enjoyed the journey that she was on when she was on Idols. We've seen her radio career climb bit by bit gradually, which shows that there is a path, there is a journey. She's not an overnight success. So one day when you see her become and realize the peak of her dreams, you'll realize that there were, there were years put into this, there were tears, there was pain, there was unfair situations, but she still triumphed and was able to go through all of that. Mm-hmm. What I appreciated the most about this conversation with T is that she loves her family. Fundamentally, family is what builds us, guys. I know that it might not be the most trendy thing nowadays to be a family-rooted person, but she's rooted and family works. The show is Engineer Your Life. I'm Lungelo KM. I will see you on the next episode. To watch the full video, click the join button and become an Engineer Your Life member.